to tonight's special report. Oh, everything's going to be fine. Donna Mellership used to be a robust mother of two. She enjoyed life and enjoyed her food. And most of all, she loved beef in burgers, pies and sausages. And that, say her family, is what's killing her. Last July, she was diagnosed as having the new variant of CJD. Now, Donna's bedbound and completely helpless, unable to speak, fed by tube. She's looked after by Mother Pat and Sister Karen in the downstairs room of their tiny council house. Together, they watched her health disintegrate. Uh, her appetite went, her speech started slurring. We couldn't understand what she was saying. Um, when she stopped walking, she was just crawling around on the floor making noises, and she just wanted to hit out at everybody. It was really scary. Donna's family try hard to remember the good times, but most of all, they're angry. Angry at how long it took to get help. Angry that the government didn't warn sooner about the possible danger of BSE-infected meat. The government should make the public much more aware. And I really do truly believe that this could have been avoided had the government done the job properly. There was more anger and grief today when families of CJD victims held their first meeting with medical experts at a conference in Warwick. They were told there's no cure, no means even of knowing how many more cases there could be. There are certain burning questions that if we could have the answer next week, we would all like to have the answer, whatever it is. But it won't be like that. It'll take months, years, and perhaps uh, tens of years in some cases. And that uncertainty is the worst possible news for farmers struggling to restore confidence in beef at home and abroad. Hey, 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 hey. At this North Devon market, half the number of beef animals are up for sale this week compared to the same time last year. Prices down by up to £150 an animal. And new cases of BSE are still cropping up. Brian Allen and son Rob discovered an infected animal on their farm last week. It'll mean five more of their herd may also be slaughtered.